In this video, I ask, what is a sphere? More specifically, what is a sphere doing in this biological form? Or in the forms of all the other fruits I will be eating later today? Why such roundness? Such geometric purity? Such ideal simplicity? In geometry classes, Truths about circles and spheres require the irrational number pi. But Buckminster Fuller, inventor of the geodesic dome, pointed out that real material spheres are three-dimensional space-filling networks. Thus, nothing we are familiar with is a perfect sphere. Nonetheless, we do find tendencies towards sphericity as if the sphere were a model being sought. Look at this wild walnut tree. In addition to the round walnut fruits, the tree has sheets for leaves and tubes for stems and branches, a number of fundamentally different shapes. But all its cells have the same DNA. So these different shapes were all chosen in an evolutionary sense from a list of possibilities. The sphere must be there for at least one very good reason. The geometrically perfect sphere, compared to all other possible shapes in the universe, has the least surface area for a given amount of volume. This special feature hints at its potential biological advantage, in which the sphere's minimum might also be an optimum. For many kinds of fruit, it is useful to minimize the surface surrounding a mass of moist tissue with inner seeds that require protection for development. Moisture loss is prevented and boundary material is lessened. Now look at this cactus. It too evolved the spherical form and it was not descended from the melon or from the walnut. It independently found the same answer to a challenge of survival. In biology, the independent generation of similar shapes for similar functions is known as convergence. We can apply the concept to the similarities across the cactus, the cherry, a mushroom, and an animal, the sea urchin. I like to use the word metapattern for any great wide-ranging principle of pattern and function such as the sphere. The sphere is a superconvergent form that can be found both throughout biology and also throughout culture. And though here I've emphasized the sphere's minimal surface for maximum volume, it has other features that also serve as convergent functions such as the strengths of shells. And its sublime beauty has fascinated many minds. In all these cases, we are far from the sphere of math with parameter pi and no function. Instead, a sphere that comes into being by either biological or cultural evolution is more than a mere shape. The shape performs a role and creates with the world a relationship that has purpose and meaning. But the question, what is a sphere, is still somewhat perplexing. The forms I have shown all approach the sphere as an ideal. And thus the sphere is both real and never perfect, and also something transcendent, primordial, Within the realm of all possibilities, many diverse things find it advantageous to converge on the meta-pattern of the sphere. 